How Expert Top 10 Sailing Tips How Expert publishes quick how-to guides on all topics from A to Z by everyday experts. Visit howexpert.com to learn more. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more How Expert Top 10 videos in the future. Moving on, let's talk about the How Expert Top 10 Sailing Tips. 10. You should actually like the water. I've never met a sailor who doesn't know how to swim, is afraid of the water, or doesn't even want to get wet. It's not possible in this industry. Don't get me wrong, there are definitely sailors who do not want to go for a leisurely swim anymore, but there are relatively no sailors that have never gotten splashed on a hot day and didn't appreciate it. Sailing is on water 100% of the time, it will surround you 100% of the time, therefore you should like it 100% of the time. I mean, would you be a teacher if you didn't like kids? 9. Go sailing before you buy your own sailboat. No brainer, right? Sailing classes are offered worldwide and it is definitely recommended to know what you're getting into, from day classes to week-long live aboard classes. Get your feet wet before jumping in. 8. Sailing is more than just sailing. Sailing is freedom, fun, and full of endless destinations to travel to. Don't let that blind you from the truth of it all. Sailing is work, full time, even when you are anchored, more so if you don't have a full crew. There is never nothing to do on a sailboat. They didn't name it a boat for no reason. Break out another thousand. 7. Monohulls are different from catamarans and trimarans. Just as racing boats are different from day cruisers, there are pros and cons to every boat. And depending on who you ask, some pros might actually be cons especially when it comes to comparing a monohull to cats or tries, such as monohulls heal normally. If the sails are trimmed right, then the boat will be tilted while moving. If a catamaran or trimaran were doing that, you might have some problems. 6. Size Matters There has been a 5-foot boat that has crossed an ocean. There has also been a 1,000-plus foot boat that has crossed an ocean. The length of the ship doesn't have to make or break your decision, but it should play a decent factor. If you are planning to live aboard and have a full-time floating home, you might want something a little more spacious as you will be with your crew day in and day out. If you are interested more in short sails and dock it at a marina full-time, a smaller boat would do just fine. Consider these questions while pondering your purchase of a sailboat. How many people will be on the boat? Are you planning to live aboard full-time? How tall are you? Would you like guests? What activities do you plan to use the boat for? What is your price range? These questions will help you decide what size and style boat is meant for you. 5. Know the boat. It's one thing if you're on a friend's boat and out for the day. In that case, sit back and relax. It's another thing if you have your own boat and your friends are there. Be the expert. You want to make sure you know where the bilge pump is or how to fix the windlass when it stops working or mostly, the answer when an experienced sailor is asking about the size of your hulls. Don't be a deer in the headlights. 4. Learn the sailing lingo. It's essentially a whole different language. Hey Bill, how was the sail over? Pretty intense, John. There was a true wind at 95 degrees coming right on the beam at about 20 knots. We had a single reef in the main to prepare for the front coming through and had to put the jib away beforehand. We even debated bare poling but thought the mainsail could handle it. With the waves around 6 feet, the swell was even enough to make the dog seasick. The second day was beautiful. We put the spin anchor up since we were downwind at 140 degrees. We even caught a few surfs at 12 knots. Kathy was at the main helm all night and had to get us through the channel this morning. Thank goodness we didn't run aground through the shoals. We were glad to be on the hook now. Comprende? 3. Study the weather and the water. The weather is perceived differently to the average person than to a sailor. A light breeze on land doesn't exactly tell a captain if they will be able to put the full sail up or not. Just as a cloudy day doesn't exactly tell a captain if there is a squall coming through or not. So how fast is the wind blowing? Which angle is it coming from? Is the wind going to shift later in the day? All of these questions you need to know the answers to prior to going out on the water. They will give you the answers to if you are able to use your sails or not. If you will have a comfortable downwind versus a bumpy upwind sail, 
and approximately how long will it take you to reach your destination. Similar to understanding the weather in depth, learning to read the water will assist in your sales abilities as well. Is there a current and will it give you an extra knot? Are there cat's paws? How high are the waves? All of these can be answered by simply looking at the water if you study it. Learning how to read the weather and the water will allow you to make the smartest decisions for your vessel and your crew. They are two of the most important skills in sailing. 2. Safety, Comfort, and Fun In that order, are you, your crew, and your sailboat safe? Are you, your crew, and your sailboat comfortable? If you answered yes to these two questions, then it's time to have some fun. And lastly, yet most importantly, 1. Be prepared, because sailing is addicting. Your first sailing experience will probably not be your last, just as your first sailboat will probably not be your last. Once you get a taste, you will want a bigger bite. The open ocean, the marine life, the thrill, it will engulf you. The love for sailing is something only a select amount of people get to truly feel. Lucky us. If you liked our video, be sure to click like and subscribe for more How Expert Top 10 videos of all topics from A to Z in the future. Also, let us know what other celebrity or any topic that you want us to do a How Expert Top 10 video in the future in the comments below. Thank you, have an amazing day, and take care. How Expert publishes quick how-to guides on all topics from A to Z by everyday experts. Visit howexpert.com to learn more.